if you have an option right now to go learn excel or powerpoint on coursera which one would you pick or another decision if you want to continue watching this video versus going and watching netflix which decision would you take hello guys welcome to today's video this video is about my three learnings from NCID. Well, you might say, hey, Pawan, these are your personal learnings, so why do we care? Let me tell you guys, it's been six years since I graduated from NCID, and there are a few learnings that stick with me even till today. So probably they carry some weight, and these are some of the learnings that you can also take away and start implementing if possible. Okay, so let us jump right away into the video. Also, before I share my three learnings, I would love for you guys to name these three chapters. I'm good. I am not going to name these chapters today. I would love if you go comment what should be the names of these chapters. All right, guys. So let's get started right away with the first chapter. Watching a movie versus watching this particular video is probably an easy choice for you, right? You can put one thing on the good end of the spectrum and the other thing on the bad, on, bad end of the spectrum and you are good to go, correct? Now, little more difficult decision that you might have to think about is, hey, should I learn Excel or should I learn PowerPoint, right? You might think about, hey, what is the utility of each one of them and see what works versus not. But imagine there are two equally good decisions, okay? For example, at INSEAD, every student is basically given a option of either going to Wharton Business School or going to another campus of INSEAD. So I started in France. So I had an option to go to Wharton Business School or the other option that I had was going to INSEAD Singapore campus. If I was given a choice, I would have done both. Okay? Both are equally good options. Wharton would have probably added a lot more brand value to my resume, even if it is an exchange program. And the other option, INSEAD Singapore campus, lets me explore a completely, completely new world because I've never been to Southeast Asia before that. So when these options come with a price that you have to pay, it becomes super difficult to pick a choice. I finally ended up going to INSEAD Singapore campus, right? Now, if I have to give you another example, we are given 500 points to bid for various courses. If I want to do negotiation scores, I probably would bid all the 500 points if I'm super interested and I definitely want to do that course. But what happens then I probably can't bid for any other courses which are also interesting but probably not as exciting as the negotiation course. So what do I do? I'll bid probably 300 points for negotiations and, and test my luck, correct? So you will start realizing that hey, the decisions and the choices that you are making will have a price that you need to pay. And every decision cannot be categorized as a good decision versus a bad decision. If you want to go to a party, you can probably network with 10 people, 15 people. Or the other option is you sit in your own room and prepare for the upcoming interview. Right? None of these are good or bad options. Going to Wharton versus going to Singapore campus was not a good or bad option. Both were equally good. Any such kind of decisions that you need to keep taking on a daily basis will help you understand what you actually like versus what you don't like and also will help you start making these decisions in a very rational way. It is very hard to get this kind of exposure where you are constantly taking decisions which are equally good on a daily basis. And business school is one place where we are forced to take these kind of decisions and that decision making will help you start thinking about every choice that you make in life in a very rational way. You don't do something because you have time or you don't do something because, hey, somebody asked me to do it. You will do it only if you love it because you know how to take a decision and tell other folks why you are doing something versus why you are not doing something. Okay. The second thing that I want to talk about, as I mentioned, guys, I forgot most of the subjects that I've learned at INSEAD. I have also now lost connects with most of my classmates. I still maintain good relationships with a few of them. And I still have some kind of command over a few topics that I have learned at INSEAD, right? The distinction is that I spent that time, I actually put in that effort to maintain that relationship. I put in that effort to continue building on my skill in that particular area. 
it is just not that hey i need to connect with this individual on linkedin so i'll start putting in that effort no i realized my learning through this entire experience is the fact that it doesn't matter who it is it could be your spouse it could be your partner it could be your fiance or it could be your classmate anybody you need to actively spend some time you need to put in the effort to maintain that relationship at an individual level okay otherwise hey, you hang out with a lot of classmates at business school but if you don't put in that effort you probably are not connected with them anymore if you think about the academics right you will have to spend time upskilling yourself and insead provides a great opportunity and great platform for doing this because they introduced lifelong learning modules and as an insead alum i get access to these lifelong learning modules and in a particular subject of my interest for example marketing or for example finance i keep taking these classes so that i stay up to date on what is happening if you learn something in the past there is no guarantee that hey you can still leverage on that if you have built a relationship in the past there is no guarantee that you can still leverage on that relationship you need to actively spend time learning or cultivating okay this is my second most important lesson and i would love for you to name this chapter too okay moving on when you have so many options to choose from on a daily basis which happens at business school right you don't know hey what is right for you what is wrong for you initially but over time let's say 3 months and 6 months you will start realizing that hey my choice of decisions have a pattern i probably like this more than the other thing for example when i chose insead singapore campus over going to watton i did not know that hey i actually probably prefer exploring places and seeing new places or connecting with new folks rather than hey getting that brand on my resume right when i had another exact similar dilemma a few years later at mckinsey i had a project that i could do in the us and it would have helped me get that next promotion faster or go into indonesia do a project there and learn about that culture learn about the working style of those people and it might push me back by a few months so it's a riskier option but i chose to do the second option because i realized that hey i would love exploring new places this pattern recognition will help you to learn a lot about yourself and this is not possible only when you are constantly stress testing your decisions when you see that patterns that is when you will realize who you are and that is something which i have noticed and i am glad that i could learn a lot about myself through this business school experience well it's not just that you will learn about business you will not just you will learn about industries but one of the most important things at business school that i have learned is that hey i have learned a lot about myself i have learned hey what is good for me what is bad for me what do i enjoy doing what do i not enjoy doing so on and so forth if i have to quickly summarize what we have talk through or my three learnings well i don't want to still give the chapter names but here's the first one there is always a price to the decision that you are making okay understand the price and be comfortable and own that particular decision second one it takes a lot of effort for you to maintain or build on what you have already learned or to cultivate that relationship that you have developed in the past the third one you will get to know a lot about yourself because of these decisions that you are making and also the me time that you receive at this fast paced business school right yes it is super fast but you still get this kind of me times which is difficult for you to get outside of these business school bubbles all right guys thank you so much please like the video if you enjoy this video it will indicate to me that hey this is the kind of videos that i should be making too going forward thank you so much guys take care